Hi everyone, in this video we will see how to install a load runner. Uh, to install a load runner first, uh, we need to create an account in Microfocus. Uh, but after creating the account in Microfocus, we need to download the load runner enterprise load runner and then we need to install it. So why we need to create a Microfocus account to download and install a load runner? So if we have an already load runner exe file. Uh, edition convert edition exe file then you can uh, uh, no need of creating a micro micro focus account if there is no account created if there is no exe file with you to download the micro focus a load runner exe file you need to create an account which is a free and no create containers are required you can try all the features of load runner for a uh, period of time with all features supported features uh, in, just to you need to fill the all the required fields here. So the first name, basic information like your first name, last name, email, and the uh, mobile number and the zip code. So these are the basic information what we uh, require here. So once you have the all the information once you submit the form, you can you will account will be created by activating the account from the email. And next, uh, then you can go and download the load runner into your machine. So once you download the load runner into your machine, this is this is how it will be the load runner exe file. So we already have it. So I didn't show you how to create a, a trial thing, but I'm showing how to install it. Uh, now right click on the application and uh, run as administrator. I added it uh, just a couple of minutes seconds. So now after clicking run as administrator, it will open, it will start unzipping the exe file to the C folder temp C drive temp folder. Yeah, here it was trying to uh, unzip the all your content, C drive, temp folder. Once it is unzipped, then the actual installation will be start. And while after uh, un unzipping, load runner will check for the network drivers and the all required Microsoft uh, .NET driver, .NET uh, versions. If there is no supported drive uh, version, so load runner will download it from Google. Uh, uh, from the back end, it will download it. So it's not Google, it will download it from the back end. Uh, and it will uh, set up the installation, continue the installation and finish the installation. Once installation is done, uh, we can use the load under. So sometimes we, need, we may need require restarting the machine and continue it again for installing network drivers, network drivers and uh, .NET drivers this thing. So now it was uh, installing the network virtualization now. So uh, based on your security levels, you will be needing the permissions to install these. Uh, so the actual installation is starting now. Uh, installation of load runner will take uh, some time uh, due to uh, it's a, it will check uh, multiple version. I mean, it will check for the .dot net uh, uh, code, uh, .net version and the network uh, network virtualizations and uh, it it have a lot of software to do that. So it will take a while. Now when we, when you see the welcome screen installation welcome screen. Select the load runner to install in your local. So now you will get in a load runner uh, details. So I accept terms and conditions. Uh, start load runner agent after installation. Create desktop. Yeah, we'll check the options as per required. Uh, I'm stopping this now. Next, uh, if you're program, yeah, I don't need that. Next, it was starting installation now. Yep, starting installation. It will take some time to complete installation. Uh, we'll see, we we'll wait for some time, uh, how, how much time it will take generally, uh, you can ask me how much time it will take for installation, so it takes from 20 to 40 minutes based on your system configuration. So if you don't have any sufficient, uh, uh, I mean, uh, RAM and RAM, then core, uh, CPU cores, it will take a long time than usual, and uh, uh, sometimes it may be fail installation. Uh, even after installation, if you don't have sufficient memory, then the load runner will eat all your memory and it will slow, slow down your uh, uh, performance of your machine.
once the installation is uh, about to complete, it will ask for a certificate here. So we are, we are making a uh, generic certificate automatically. If you have an existing certificate, you can choose that. Otherwise, I am creating a new one, new certificate here. Click on next. Father is not empty. Uh, certificate file. Okay. So currently I'm disabling this. So we need to install a certificate. So I will we'll take in the next video. I'll show you how to create a certificate that. Click next. So instead of virtualization, I'm not installing. Uh, so if you have any, if you need to install the virtualization, so you can check this and uh, enable the mode and you can install it. Now I'm clicking this. It has to finish the uh, setup. Now if you see on your desktop, it would have, yeah, you have the NRQ controller and we use a load runner. Okay, now if you open the load runner, we use gen. So it's a we gen and the controller and the analysis. So load runner we have uh, three components uh, to do to use. So I will explain each of them how to use a controller, how to use an analysis and how to use the region in coming videos. So now the load runner has opened uh, with this region, load runner region. So from here we need to start our scripting uh, scripts and everything will be done here. Evolutions are done in the controller and all this will be done in the analysis. So we'll see the all the things uh, in detail in coming videos. Thanks for listening to this.